Hey, how's it going? I have another, uh, a lot going on on the farm right now. So this is another really important step that we just got to here. So I wanted to share this with you. And this has to do with pest control because cannabis is really fun to grow and humans love cannabis. But uh, one of the challenges is bugs love cannabis too. Uh, and right now due to um, a lot of industrial farming and these larger and larger cannabis farms since they're coming online, unfortunately they're kind of creating or encouraging more uh, industrial uh, type pests. And right now, uh, one of the big ones that's really annoying is uh, there's a cannabis aphid. So aphids used to be just a little annoyance, but easily taken care of. But this new cannabis aphid that's hit the scene in the last few years is, uh, yeah, it, it's one of these things that could probably survive nuclear holocaust. I mean, they're almost indestructible. But the one thing they can't resist is predatory insects. They can never build a tolerance to actually being eaten alive. So I'm gonna show you right now with the unboxing. Uh, what we did, and we just started seeing a few aphids on some of our plants here. Um, so uh, that reminded me that it's time for us to order a very important important part of our whole pest control system and that is these right here and uh, so I highly encourage if you are interested in growing your own cannabis and then doing uh, natural pest control where you're not um, using pesticides is uh, I am a huge fan of these these are uh, lace wing larvae uh, so the lace wing and lace wings by the way are these cool little they're actually native to California They're native to a lot of places. Uh, so you're not introducing a non-native species of insect uh, But they kind of look like little uh, miniature praying mantises with short necks But they have wings and they fly around but when you see those those are the adult lace wings and they actually feed on pollen um, so you want uh, but but the, their larval stage are just these ferocious hunters, these little like wormy guys with these pincers on the front and they just devour uh, aphids like crazy. So uh, by bringing those into your ecosystem, uh, that's a real natural way you're working with uh, the forces of nature to balance out some of these uh, uh, pests uh, that like to chew on your cannabis and actually could potentially ruin your cannabis. So anyway, uh, just wanted to show you how this works. So right here, I think each one of these cards has 5,000 uh, lacewing eggs on them. You can also uh, purchase, and by the way, I get these from a place called the Beneficial Insectiary, which is uh, here in California. And uh, we've just had really good luck with them. And you order them, and then, um, oh, and by the way, how much do they cost? So I got 14 cards. I think it was like, I, for some reason I don't see the money on here, but I think it was just like 100, a little over $100. So that's way cheaper than spraying things on your plants, and it's totally natural. And uh, what happens is once these little uh, eggs hatch, and they'll hatch within a few days, I'll show you how we do this. Uh, I actually use scissors instead of trying to tear them. All you do is there's these little eggs. You just hang it on your plant. And uh, in a few days, these are all gonna be hatched out. And little, uh, tiny little baby a uh, ferocious predatory uh, lacewing larva will be cruising and patrolling this plant and just killing a aphids. But here's, here's the issue as far as sustainably. Right now, we're still in a phase where we need to bring in uh, and order these lacewings. And again, they are native, so we're not bringing in a, like an invasive species. Uh, but as you get more and more uh, sort of sophisticated and evolve and get more of a permaculture, regenerative, sustainable um, uh, 
cannabis farming ecosystem going where you've got the biodiversity. Uh, uh, if you have certain plants, then the lacewing will naturally gravitate. All the native lacewing will gravitate towards your garden. And But what you really need is um, pollen because the adult uh, lace wings and even I think the larva they may actually eat pollen as well so if there's no aphids to eat you don't want all your lace wings taken off because there's no food so if you have uh, pollen sources that the lace wing can also eat supplementally and uh, and they're it's create a happy habitat for your lace wings then they'll stick around and then if some aphids show up they'll just gobble those up so it's really important um, and we're working on that this year to bring in all these companion plants uh, that attract beneficial uh, predatory insects and so we're going to be doing a lot more of that this year so we'll share that with you as well uh, but right now because we're in a greenhouse setting and we don't have a ton of uh, things drawing in uh, lace wings right now we have ordered these uh, but again, it was it was only about a hundred bucks, and this is going to go on 400 plants, and we don't have to spray anything. So, anyway, so hope that is helpful. We're going to start uh, cutting these out. And by the way, these are perforated. If you do order these, um, the perforation kind of works, but we have found that it's kind of easier just cutting them with scissors, and then we just run around and just hang them up. We got about 400 plants to do, but yeah, within an hour, we're done, no spraying, and uh, yeah, and then we're working with the powers of nature and biodiversity to control and balance out all of our uh, pest issues. So anyway, hope that's helpful. Uh, we'll put information, anyway, that's what we're doing today, and uh, yay, <laughs> okay.